Time, Lex Las Vegas Bandit supporter, all the way from New York, all the way from his convicted place of residence. Let's hear it for Donald Trump! USA, USA. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have the president again. You can grab him by the pussy. Hell yeah. Even the black guys can grab him by the pussy. By the way, the black people love me. See, he knows he's the first one to say something. The black guy. The black guy. And you know, when I'm your president again, I took the president. When I be president again, your credit score will automatically go to a 350. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm going to give you a free 50 points just for voting for me. It's like three strips and then three states at a holiday and you get a bonus one. He's been at a holiday Inn too. That's where, that's where kids came from. <laughs> it's true. It's true. The last one was Hotel Six, but we're not we're not keeping track. We'll leave the light on. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to get my good side? All of my sides are my good side. All of my sides are good sides. Yeah, turn around, three sixty. <laughs> they want to see greatness. All <laughs> I'm six foot five, two hundred and fifty pounds of all beets, special sauce, <laughs> lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. There you go. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's what I am at the best of. Best of. How is everyone doing tonight? There we go. So, the Supreme Court says I can do whatever I want. They say I can do whatever I want. So, ladies, you're welcome. In advance, you're welcome. It's no longer a salt. It is a, it is a good night with the president, okay? Mandatory testings are going to be at the top of Trump Tower, and your president likes sloppy toppies. <laughs> I like it wet and wild, okay? Like towel on your belly. By the time I'm coming to you, it's going to be like one fifty foot tall slip and slide. Believe it. <laughs> She's looking at her president right now. Her mouth is watering, okay? Okay? Her mouth is watering. It's like you're probably pointing to the church's chicken. Uh, oh shit is right, okay? But the people love me. The people, they say to me all the time, Donald, we want you to come back. We want President Stimmy back. That's what they call me in North Las Vegas, President Stimmy. <laughs> because when Donald Trump is your president, every day is going to be like the first of the month. <laughs> it's like the first of the month, okay? I already know, and this what? I get you. I feel your pain. I miss my Uncle Charles too. So sad what they did to me. 34 fraudulent counts from a very conflicted judge named Judge Marshawn Lynch. I don't understand why he didn't stay in the Seahawks or the Raiders. <laughs> had no business being a, he shouldn't be a judge. Should, he, he had a bunch of hipsters to sign my faith. It was very, very unfair what they did to me. Very unfair what they did to me. But guess what? Now I've got full immunity. That means I get to fuck a vodka and not have to worry about it. <laughs> okay? Uh, people go there. How do you do that? Excuse me. Excuse me. Last year, Melania turned 50 years old. 50 years old. The doctor says there's no cure. When you shoot it, when your shoes get old and you can't stretch the leather out any further, you throw them out. I can't throw her out. If I throw her out, I'm going to pay her billions and billions and billions of dollars. Okay? That's fair. It's very much something with the do to me. Okay? The Jewish, I, I went to the Jewish doctor too. I found the very first Jewish doctor. I found the only ones left in the only part of Israel that wasn't bombed yet. And I said, Big Girl looks like 20 again. He said, We can't do it. She's starting to look like the Joker, Melania. She's <laughs> starting to look like Heath Ledger now. <laughs> so sad. So sad. And if I was 45, she's not far off either. I, wanted, I think this time I'm going to go for a black one, man. 
I want Megan Thee Stallion as the next vice president's vice first lady. <laughs> okay? I want some junk in the Trump a duck a duck. Okay? I want it to jiggle when I wiggle. Okay, that's, that's my word. They say, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Your learned chief is speaking, okay? And if you speak without talking again, you get deported back to Little Mexico, okay? You get to go back with all the drug dealers and the rapists and the murderers, okay? Some of them are nice, but I put them in the nice places. Some of them are nice. The nice Mexicans are working over my golf course, okay? That's who the nice Mexicans are. If your name is not Maddie Shaw, and you're not working at I've got so many properties, which one? Marilago. <laughs> if you're not working at Marilago, cleaning up the shitter, guess what? You get to point it back to the shit hole that's where you came from, okay? Pick whatever brown shit hole that you want, and we'll send you in a care package. Back to your, back to your shit hole country, all right? This is true, this is gonna happen. They say, Trump, how are you going to execute your plan to get rid of millions of illegals? You send the magic word, execute, okay? We drop a bomb, okay? We're gonna drop a bomb worse than Joe Biden did when he got on the stage with me. <laughs> Who saw the debate? Who saw the debate? It was weekend at Bernie's part three. It was, it was the most handsome guy who's ever lived. She's sucking right, she's thinking about me right now. Okay, that's why she's got a cup of ice. Okay. That's okay. Later on, later on, you can show how much of a patriot you are. Even Obama does have a better president. You know what Obama said about me? It's so smooth. I didn't know he could speak English. I thought that was AI. I thought that was AI for Obama. Turns out he did. They him English. You know what you have to say? Who wants to see Obama today? Yeah. My fellow Americans, <laughs> all across this great nation, to all my black brothers and sisters, Mr. Durag over here, I want to say that we speak your name, and that, uh, <laughs> You have nothing to fear when Joseph Biden as your president. You just gotta wind him up every once in a while. And, uh, a lot of hard working American folks know that. Joe? Believe it? Tough? Know that America's greatest years are ahead of And uh, we honor the many great voices of proud black people who came before us. Like uh, Dr. King said, I have a dream. My hands flew, you said, and again I will rise. And uh, two blocks before, when he said, fuck bitches, get money. <laughs> fuck bitches, get money. Yep. <laughs> but we want to honor a man. What are you, Kiko? And uh, so many great things to remember. He's got an enormous man bingo like penis. And his name is uh, Donald J. Trump. By the way, he said it was a bad dingo like penis. <laughs> They've never seen anything this big or black before. Believe it, believe it. My penis is so big and black, as soon as I pull it out, my penis foot drops to 300. But, but, but she's laughing, okay? It goes down to my knees. It hits the floor, really. It does. It's so big and black. When I pull it up, I go to collections. Okay? You've never seen anything this big or black before. When I think it's so black, when Eric was born, I disowned it. Okay? Didn't even claim the best by us, right? I don't even know who the mother is. I think we buried her in the golf course. But we want to bring up Lex Las Vegas, the guy who gets up on stage every night and goes, and yo, respect me. Respect me. <laughs> We like Mr. Respectfully in Las Vegas. First of all, I've never heard of the Las Vegas guy who sounds like an extra from Law and Order. 
<laughs> okay. He sounds like the extra from every episode of Law and Order. Hey, yo, I don't know what happened. The body's in the foot. It doesn't. Respect me. I gotta get out of here. Respect me. I ain't nothing to do with this. Lex Las Vegas from New York. Lex Las Vegas. Yeah. Lex Las Vegas from New York, okay? <laughs> He's Lex Las Vegas, but he sounds like he's from South Brooklyn, okay? He sounds like he's from Ben Stein. <laughs> ben Stein. Red Hook, okay? He sounds like he's from Red Hook. <laughs> but who's getting drunk tonight? Who's getting drunk with their president tonight? Who's buying their president? Lots of shots, okay? Oh, it, what do I tell you? As soon as you vote for me, your credit score goes to 400, okay? You're wearing a button-down shirt that's next to 50 points, okay? And I don't see a do-rag on you, no tangles. That's another 50 points right there. Can you say respectfully? Respectfully, son. Uh, you said son, you just lost 50 points. You just lost 50 points right there for saying son, okay? Hold on, let's try my, let's try my brother over here. Let me hear you say respectfully. Respectfully. That's 50 points. He got you 50 points. You see, it's a pool. We took the 50 points from him. <laughs> We're going to divvy up your points. It's going to be like Section 8 housing. You know Section 8 is. Oh! Okay? Now you get the apartment and then you can share it on alternating weekends. Okay? Alright. I know we've got some beautiful people here. But we want to bring out the rapping New Yorker from Las Vegas. <laughs> Last Las Vegas, respectfully. Let's keep it going for Donald Trump!